Welcome back to Move with Nicole. Today's class is a full body Pilates class using a light set of hand weights. I would recommend one kilo or two kilo maximum. But don't worry if you don't have weights as you can still enjoy the workout without them. So when you're ready, roll out your mat and let's begin. Let's start standing at the back of our mat with our feet hip distance apart. Take a deep breath in, reach your arms up to the sky and exhale, release. And again, inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, release. One more, inhale, and this time interlace your fingers at the top and lengthen through your spine. Then bend your knees and side bend over to the left, crossing your right leg behind your left to feel a deeper stretch. Inhale, return through center and exhale, stretch over to the right, crossing your left leg behind your right. Beautiful. Return through center and then release your arms. Keeping your feet hip distance apart and parallel, inhale, squat down, then exhale, reach your arms up and circle your arms down. Inhale, squat down, exhale, press up and circle your arms down. Three more and then we'll reverse the direction of our arms. Two. And last one. Now let's reverse. Inhale, squat down, exhale, circle your arms up and down four more really shift your weight into your heels sending your glutes far behind you and keep drawing your navel in last one beautiful hold low in your squat and reach your arms by your ears let's alternate lifting one heel at a time you lift and lift adding little pulses down with your hips really waking up our legs and our glutes. Keep drawing your belly button in towards your spine. Let's do eight more, seven, six, five. Keep reaching through those arms, two more, and last one. Well done, lower your heels, place your hands on the top of your thighs and ripple your spine up. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky Exhale, release, tuck your chin in and roll down over your legs. Then walk your hands forward, finding your strong high plank position. Make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders, your hips are slightly tucked under and you're dropping your ribs down to your hips. Let's just shift our weight forward and back, forward and back. Just breathing naturally here, nice inhales and exhales. This is a great way to wake up our shoulders as well as our core. Just a few more. Keep your gaze towards the top of your mat, really lengthening through your spine. Two more and last one. Good job, press back into a downward facing dog, melting your heels down towards the floor and pushing the floor away from you with your hands, lengthening through your spine. Then bend your knees and carefully walk your hands back towards your feet and roll up to standing. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, release, tuck your chin in and roll down over your legs. Walk your hands forward again, returning to your strong high plank position. This time on your inhale, bend your knees, press back, then exhale, shoot forward to plank. Inhale, press back. Exhale, plank. Eight more. As you press back, really push the floor away from you, activating those shoulder muscles. Inhale, press back. Exhale, shoot forward. Just three more. Two. Keep dropping your ribs down to your hips. And last one. Well done. Hold in your plank and walk your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart to get ready for our shoulder taps. So you tap and tap. 
just eight more of these try to keep your hips nice and still and keep your gaze towards the top of your mat you're doing really well just two more and last one well done walk your feet in so they're hip distance apart again lower your knees and lower down onto your belly roll your shoulders back and lift your chest coming into your baby cobra then using the strength of your back let's lift our arms up into cactus with our elbows out by our side really roll your shoulders down and back lift through your chest but keep pulling your navel up towards your spine one more deep breath in and deep breath out good job return your hands down to the floor press yourself up and press back to child's pose let's take one deep breath in and deep breath out then roll your spine up to seated shift your weight onto your glutes and let's swing our legs out in front of us with your feet hip distance apart and your knees bent hold on to the back of your thighs and lengthen through your spine on your inhale open through your heart then exhale round through your spine tucking your chin in dropping your ribs down to your hips and again inhale roll up open through your heart exhale round back really stretching through your spine one more deep breath in and deep breath out as you round beautiful return to that straight spine and now let's grab a hold of our weights if you have them bend your elbows and press your fists together take an inhale to prepare then exhale around back dropping your ribs down to your hips inhale come up and exhale round back just eight more keep your shoulders down and back and try to keep your elbows nice and lifted use your breath exhale as you round back inhale as you sit up when you round back slightly tuck your hips under so that you're really engaging your core just two more and last one beautiful let's hold in our C curve now and reach our arms forward with our palms facing up really roll your shoulders down and back bicep curls you bend and extend inhale bend exhale extend eight more try to keep your elbows forward in front of your body so that you're challenging your biceps a little bit more as well as your core you've got it four more and three keep dropping your ribs down to your hips two and a one now hold your arms extended exhale twist over to the left then inhale come up and circle around to the right exhale and repeat inhale as you circle up exhale as you circle down to the left keep going really focus on your posture as you circle up lengthening through your spine and then focus on dropping your ribs down to your hips as you circle down you've got it keep your arms lifted in front of your shoulders waking up those arms let's do two more and on this last one hold to the left and return your fists together with your elbows wide let's twist it out you twist and twist nice exhale and exhale can you round back a little bit more just four more three two and a one excellent job let's lift our chest and this time extend your arms forward with your palms facing inwards on your exhale round back row your left elbow back then inhale come up other side exhale row your right elbow back inhale come up eight more alternating sides i know i'm a broken record but each time that you round back 
really think of dropping your ribs down to your hips and flattening through your abdominals using your core here. Okay, two more to go. And on this last one, hold in your C curve and reach both arms forward with your chest facing forward. Inhale, lower both arms, tap the mat, exhale, lift. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. Just eight more. You're almost done with this series, so keep breathing. Roll your shoulders down and back. Keep focusing on that rib to hip connection. Just four more. And three. Two more. And last one. Let's hold our arms lifted and take little pulses back and back. Nice exhale and exhale. Six more and five, keep reaching those arms forward. Three, two, and one. Roll up to seated, reach your arms up to the sky, then bend your elbows and release the weights down. Well done, pop them down to the side, open your knees and bring the soles of your feet together. Inhale, lengthen through your spine and exhale, fold forward from your hips, feeling a beautiful release for your hips. Okay, from here, lift your chest, return your feet to the floor, hip distance apart, and place your hands underneath your shoulders with your fingertips pointed forward. Press down through your heels, squeeze your glutes, and lift your hips up. One deep breath in, and deep breath out. Then release your hips down, hold on to the back of your thighs, and carefully roll yourself down onto your back. Imprint your spine, so press your lower back down into the floor and then lift your legs to a tabletop position with your knees stacked over your hips. Interlace your fingers behind your head with your elbows wide. And then let's do some ab curls. So inhale to prepare, exhale, lift your head and shoulders and lower your ribs to your hips. Inhale, lower your head, exhale, curl up. Just eight more like this. When you lift your head and shoulders up, slightly tuck your chin down towards your chest to protect your neck. But keep your elbows nice and wide and make sure that you're not crunching into your neck. There's still a nice gap between your chin and your chest. Two more. And on your last one, hold your head and shoulders lifted and hug your knees in towards your chest. Little combo. Exhale, stretch your left leg and your left arm out. Inhale, hug it in. Exhale, stretch your right leg and your right arm out. Inhale, hug back in. Then exhale, stretch both arms and legs out. Inhale, hug back in. Just four more. Left, hug in. Right, hug in. Then both arms and legs and hug. Three more. Use your breath to help you. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Two more to go. Keep pressing your lower back down into the floor and dropping your ribs down to your hips. Last one. You've got it. Stretch both arms and legs out. Beautiful. From here, hug your left knee in and extend your right leg long. Let's just take bicycles. You switch and switch, either pulling your knee in towards your chest, reaching your arms forward by your hips, or taking your hands behind your head. You pick your option. Let's do 10 more. Nine, switch and switch. Five more, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Hug your knees in and rest your head. Taking any little movements that feel good for you here. Okay, let's do our roll ups. So extend your legs long on the mat, squeeze your thighs together, and then reach your arms back by your ears. On your inhale, roll up to seated. Exhale, round forward over your legs, pulling your navel back. Inhale, roll back down, vertebra by vertebra. 
and exhale, reach your arms back. And again, inhale, roll up. Exhale, stretch forward. Inhale, roll down with control. And exhale, reach your arms back. Just two more to go. And last one. Beautiful. Let's hold for a moment, stretching over our legs, releasing any tension through our spine. Then reach your arms up to the sky and take your hands underneath your shoulders with your fingertips pointed forward. Then squeeze your thighs together, squeeze your glutes and lift your hips up, coming into your reverse plank. First option, exhale, pull your knee into your chest, inhale, set it down, exhale, pull your other knee to your chest, inhale, set it down. So stay with this or second option, bend your knee, extend your leg up to the sky and then lower your legs straight down. Exhale, bend, extend. Inhale, lower straight down. Wherever you are, let's do six more. Keep pressing down through your shoulders, squeezing your glutes to lift your hips up and dropping those ribs down to your hips. Two more to go. And last one. Well done. Carefully lower your hips down, bend your knees, and let's roll back down onto our back. Okay, from here, imprint your spine again, lift your legs to a tabletop position, then extend your legs up to the sky and turn your feet out. Then take your hands behind your head and lift your head and shoulders. Another little combo. So exhale, lower your legs straight down, inhale, lift, then exhale, open your legs and reach through your legs. Inhale, return through center. So exhale, lower, inhale, lift. Exhale, open and reach through your legs. Inhale, return through center. Just three more. Can you curl up a little bit higher as you reach through your legs? You're doing really well. One more to go. Well done. Now this time, lower your head, reach your arms to the sky and cross your legs four times. Then open your legs, curl up and reach forward with your arms. And again, inhale lower, cross your legs four times. Then exhale, curl up and reach through your legs. Three more to go. Keeping your legs nice and straight, really working those inner thigh muscles. Two more. And one more, crisscross those legs and exhale, curl up. Now hold in your curl and take little pulses up and up. Really reach and reach. Keep lengthening through your legs. You can do it. Three more, two and one. Well done. Hug your knees in, rest your head. That was a tough one. Do any little movements that feels good for you. And then from here, stretch your legs long and your arms long and just take a few deep breaths. Okay, let's roll onto our side and prop ourselves up into a kneeling position. Grab a hold of one weight and place the weight in your left hand. Then extend your left leg out to the side, making sure that it's in line with your hip. Take your right hand behind your head with your elbow wide and then bend your left elbow with your palm facing forward. On your inhale, lean over to the right. Exhale, press the weight up to the sky. Inhale, bend and exhale, come up. So inhale as you lean over. Exhale, press the weight up. Inhale, bend and exhale, come up. Eight more like this. Slightly tuck your hips under here, making sure that as you lean over to the side that you're not arching your spine. So be careful that you're not sending your glutes back behind you. You want to tuck your hips under, squeeze your glutes and drop your ribs down to your hips. You've got it. As you lean over to the right, really think of leaning up and over, keeping your spine nice and straight. Okay, on this last one, hold in that side lean and just lift the arm up 
and down. Exhale, press, inhale, bend. Eight more, you've got it. Seven and six, keep drawing your navel in, you're doing really well. Four more, Whew. three, two, and one. Excellent job. Take your right hand down to the floor now and reach your left arm up to the sky. Inhale, bend your elbow, lowering your weight down towards your shoulder. Then exhale, extend your arm and lift your left leg. So inhale, bend your elbow, lower your leg. Exhale, extend your arm and lift your leg. Really lift up through the underside of your waist and make sure that you're not arching your spine here. Keep that beautiful rib to hip connection. Two more. And last one. Let's hold our arm and leg lifted and you guessed it, little pulses. You lift and lift. Just eight more. Seven, six, keep reaching that weight up to the sky. Four more, three, two, and one. Beautiful, set your left foot down and release the weight down to the floor. Let's now come into a side plank position, reaching our left arm by our ear. On your inhale, lower your hips straight down to the mat. Then exhale, lift your hips up and reach your arm by your ear. Four more. Option to lower down onto your right knee if you need that extra support. You do what feels best for you. Two more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Last one. Inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. Excellent job. Lower your hips down to the floor and let's take our favorite mermaid stretch. So inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale, side bend over to the left. Then carefully turn your chest down towards the floor just to feel a deeper stretch through the left side of your body. Then inhale, return your chest through center and exhale, come up. Okay, let's take it straight to the other side. So come into your kneeling position with this time the weight in your right hand and your right leg extended out to the side. Take your left hand behind your head with your elbow wide and really draw your navel in, dropping your ribs to your hips. On your inhale, lean over to the left, exhale, press the weight up, inhale, bend, and exhale, return through center. So inhale, lean to the left, exhale, press, inhale, bend, and exhale, come up. Eight more. As you lean over to the left, think of one long line all the way from the tip of your toes to the crown of your head. So you're really thinking of leaning up and over. You want to avoid crunching through the left side of your waist. Instead, really think of keeping your spine nice and long. Let's do three more. And two more. Beautiful. On this last one, let's hold in our lean and just work our arm. You lift your arm up and down. Exhale, press, inhale, bend. Seven more, you've got it. And six. Keep tucking your hips under slightly, making sure that you're engaging through your abs. Only two more. And last one. Good job. Place your left hand onto the floor and reach your right arm up to the sky. On your inhale, bend your elbow. Exhale, extend and lift your right leg. Inhale, bend and lower your leg. Exhale, extend and lift your leg. Keeping your gaze down to the floor if that feels good for you, or you can keep your gaze forward. Try to keep your right leg in line with your hip so that you're really working through the outside of your glute as you lift your leg. Just two more. And on this last one, hold everything lifted and take little pulses up and up. Eight more. Really elongate through your right leg. Five more. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job. Set the weight down and then come into your side plank position. 
reach your right arm by your ear and lift your hips up. Inhale, lower your hips down and exhale, lift your hips up. Four more. Coming down onto your left knee if you need that extra support. Three more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press up. Two more. You can do it. Really lift up through the underside of your waist. And last one. Well done. Lower your hips down. And let's take our mermaid stretch. Inhale, reach your left arm up. And exhale, side bend to the right. Then carefully turn your chest down towards the floor. Then return through center and come back up. Okay, let's come to our hands and our knees now and just take a moment to release our spine. So on your inhale, arch your spine, roll your shoulders back. Then exhale, round your spine and gaze towards your navel. One more. Inhale, arch your spine, open through your heart, and exhale round. Find your neutral spine now, tuck your toes under, and press back to a downward facing dog. Take a moment to pedal your heels, alternate bending one knee at a time, just releasing any tension through your legs and through your spine. Then bend your knees, Walk your hands back towards your feet and roll up to standing. Inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky and exhale, release. Okay, time for a fun standing series. So grab a hold of your weights, turn your toes out slightly and cross your right foot behind your left. Apologies that I'm not mirroring you for this exercise. Then bend your elbows and press your fists together. On your inhale, curtsy down. Then exhale, tap your right foot to the side and open your arms. So inhale as you curtsy, exhale as you tap to the side and open your arms. When you open your arms out to the side, keep a soft bend through your elbows and really focus on rolling your shoulders back and opening through your chest. You've got it. Inhale, curtsy, exhale, tap. Only two more. And on this last one, hold your leg out to the side with your arms open. Let's pull our elbows in and out as you tap in and out. Just eight more. Slightly hinging forward from the hips, bending into your left knee, really working our left glute at the same time. Three more. You've got it. Two. And last one. Hold everything out, really draw your navel in, and this time exhale, lift everything up, inhale, lower everything down. So exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Keeping all your weight on your left leg. You've got it, this takes a lot of balance and strength. So just do what you can. You don't have to lift your arm and your leg very high. The form is the most important thing. Just two more. And last one, well done. Cross your right foot behind your left again and reach your right arm up to the sky, taking your left hand to your hip. On your exhale, press up and inhale, curtsy down. Exhale, press up, inhale, curtsy down. Keep going. I'm just gonna turn to the side so that you can see the movement better. Make sure that your spine is nice and straight as you lower down into your curtsy and really reach that weight up to the sky, lengthening through your spine. Okay, two more. And on this last one, hold low in your curtsy. On your exhale, hinge forward, pull your elbow back, extend your arm back, and then inhale, return to your curtsy, reaching your arm up. So exhale as you hinge forward, straighten your back leg, reach your right arm back, then inhale, return to your curtsy. Try to keep that left knee bent the whole entire time. And really focus on drawing your navel in, dropping your ribs to your hips, lengthening through your spine, like always. Just two more. And on this last one, hold in your hinge. This time, bend your elbow and extend as you tap your foot in 
and out. Nice inhale and exhale. Seven more. Keep bending your left knee, working that left glute. You're doing really well. Let's do two more. And last one. Now hold everything back and just lift your arm up and up. Nice exhale and exhale. You can do it. Draw your navel in, roll your right shoulder back. Just three more, two and one. Excellent job. Shake your legs out, shimmy those shoulders if you need to. And you guessed it. Let's take it straight to the other side. So this time, cross your left foot behind your right and then bring the weights together. On your inhale, curtsy down. Exhale, tap to the side, open your arms. Inhale, curtsy. Exhale, tap and open your arms. As you lower down into your curtsy, slightly hinge forward so that you get a little bit deeper into your right glute. You've got it, you're doing really well. Just three more to go, two, and one. Now hold everything out to the side. Inhale, pull your elbows in. Exhale, extend as you tap your foot in and out, in and out. Keep bending into your right knee, really working that right glute. Squeeze your shoulder blades together as you pull your elbows in. Let's do two more. And last one, hold everything out. Now for that tough one, lower your arms down and then lift your arms, lift your leg. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Eight more. Keep drawing your navel in, bending into your right knee, finding that balance. You've got it, four more. And three, you don't have to lift your arms and legs very high, just do what you can. Last one, well done. Let's cross our left foot behind our right again and reach our left arm up to the sky. Exhale, press up, inhale, curtsy down. Exhale, press, inhale, curtsy. This time in our curtsies, we're keeping our spine nice and straight with our hips directly underneath our shoulders. Think of equal amount of weight on your front foot and your back foot here. Two more. And on this last one, hold in your curtsy, then inhale, hinge forward, reach your left arm back, extend your left leg, and exhale, return to your curtsy. So inhale, hinge forward, exhale, curtsy. Remember, keep that right knee nice and bent so you're really getting into your right glute. And as you hinge forward, focus on lengthening through your spine, reaching forward with the crown of your head. Let's do three more. And two. Last one. Hold in your hinge and my favorite, bend your elbow and extend as you tap your foot in and out, just eight more. Can you lift your left arm back just a little bit higher, working a little bit harder into that tricep? Let's do four more, three. Woo, breathe, two, and one. Hold everything back and just lift your left arm. This is it, you lift and lift. Last little bit of tricep work. Five more, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Shake your legs, shimmy your shoulders, and let's now find a squat position with our toes slightly turned out. On your inhale, squat down, exhale, punch across. Inhale, squat, exhale, punch. Just alternating sides each time. You've got it really punch across your body, dropping your ribs down to your hips, so that you're working through your core. Four more. Three, two, and one. Now lose the squat and just punch it out. You punch and punch. You're doing really well. Keep your energy levels up and keep your core engaged. This is a great exercise for our whole entire body. 
Okay, just a few more, and then we're gonna speed up these punches. Last two, last one. Here we go, step your feet in, activate your core, and just punch it out. You punch, 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 punch. This is it, we are almost at the end of class, so stay with me. Punch it like you mean it, you've got it. Only four more seconds here, three, two, and a one. Excellent job. Let's say goodbye to those weights and pot them to the side. Then come to the back of your mat, inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, release, tuck your chin in, and roll down over your legs. Walk your hands forward and find your strong plank position. Let's take some mountain climbers. You just pull and pull, nice and simple. Exhale and exhale. Six more and five. Really pull your knees up towards your chest. Two more and last one. Bend your knees, walk your hands back towards your feet and roll up to standing. Let's take some squat taps. So squat down, tap the floor, exhale, press up. Inhale, squat, tap. Exhale, press up. Just eight more like this. Moving a little bit faster in these squats, really getting our heart rate up. Let's do four more. Really send those glutes back. Two more. And a last one. Well done, hands to the floor. Walk your hands forward. And let's repeat those slow mountain climbers, or if you wanna finish class with a bang, run those legs out. Let's go, you run, 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 run. You pick your option. This is your class today, so you get to finish it how you want to. Wherever you are, just keep moving, keep breathing. You've got it. Only four more seconds left. Three, two, and a one, excellent job. Lower your knees and press back into a well-deserved child's pose. Let your forehead rest on the floor and just take deep breaths. Okay, from here, carefully roll your chest up, sitting back onto your heels. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. And then inhale, straighten your arms and open through your heart. Taking a few deep breaths here, releasing any tension through your shoulders. And then release your hands and take a nice big shoulder roll. Come forward onto your hands and your knees. Inhale, arch your spine. And then exhale, round your spine and gaze towards your navel. One more. Inhale, arch your spine, roll your shoulders back. And exhale, round. Come to your neutral spine now. Inhale, reach your left arm up to the sky. And exhale, thread your left arm through the right, coming down onto your left shoulder. Option to wrap your right arm behind your back, reaching for the inside of your left thigh, coming into a deeper twist. Then carefully return your hand back down to the floor. Inhale, press up, reach your left arm up to the sky and exhale, switch sides. Inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale, thread your right arm through the left, lowering down onto your right shoulder. Option to wrap your left arm behind your back, reaching for the inner part of your right thigh. Then return your left hand to the floor. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky one last time and exhale, release. Then tuck your toes under and press back into a downward facing dog. On your inhale, Extend your left leg up towards the sky. Then exhale, step your left foot forward in between your hands and drop your back knee. Press both hands into the top of your thigh and lift your chest as you sink your hips forward and down, feeling a beautiful stretch. On your next inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, lower your hands to the floor 
and shift your hips back. Straighten your left leg, flex your foot. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, fold over your leg. Feeling a nice release for the back of your left leg. Then carefully re-bend your left knee, tuck your back toes under and lift your back knee off the floor. Very carefully heel toe your left foot to the right side of your mat and lower down into your pigeon pose. Sit up nice and tall, rolling your shoulders back and either stay here or very carefully walk your hands forward, coming into a deeper stretch. Wherever you are, just breathe and enjoy this release for your glutes. Then carefully walk your hands back towards your body, tuck your back toes under and press back to your downward facing dog. Let's switch sides. Inhale, reach your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot forward and drop your back knee. Press your hands into the top of your thigh and lift your chest as you let your hips sink forward and down. On your next inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, lower your hands to the floor and shift your hips back, straightening your right leg and flexing your foot. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, fold over your leg. Then carefully re-bend your right knee, tuck your back toes under, lift your left knee off the floor and heel toe your right foot over to the left and carefully lower down into your pigeon pose. Lift your chest, roll your shoulders down and back and either stay here nice and lifted or very carefully walk your hands forward, coming into a deeper stretch. Try to keep both hips parallel to the floor and just breathe into this stretch for your hip and for your glute. Then carefully walk your hands back towards your body and shift your weight onto your right hip and swing your left leg around coming into a cross-legged position. Sitting up nice and tall, let's hook our right elbow around our left knee. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, twist over to the left, looking over your left shoulder if that feels good for you. Then carefully release and let's switch the crossing of our legs. Sit up nice and tall, then hook your left elbow around your right knee. Inhale, lengthen through your spine and then exhale, twist, looking over your right shoulder. Really reach up through the crown of your head and take deep breaths. Then carefully unwind and let's find a comfortable cross-legged position in the middle of our mat. On your inhale, reach your left arm up and exhale side bend over to the right. Other side, inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale side bend to the left. Beautiful. Return through center and let's finish class like always. With one last big inhale, reach your arms up to the sky and exhale, lower your hands down to your heart. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's full body Pilates class. If you would like to see more classes like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and I hope you have the most beautiful day.